Good morning, today is September 20th. It's a Tuesday and it is gonna be the best day because I get to see my boyfriend after a whole month. If you guys are new to the channel, we started doing long distance again. He um, is living at home for a little bit and we've already done long distance for four years in college. So I thought this time would be a lot different because I've never lived alone and that really terrified me but honestly it hasn't been that bad I've been keeping myself distracted with my friends and you know just having a lot of girl time and then also just like focusing on my career and photography and brand deals and all that and growing my socials so this month flew by and honestly I think this is probably the longest we've been away from each other in three years because well we did long distance so we probably were away from each other for way longer during college, but we came to live in Austin, Texas in 2019 and we've been living with each other ever since. So I think this has been the longest since then. So I'm really excited to see him. And today's also, come here, come here, come here, come on, come on, up, 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 Sophie's birthday. I literally found out from an email from um, the haircut place we go to. <laughs> Or is it, no, I think it's the pet rent thing we pay. Pet rent's so stupid. But anyways, um, yeah, they emailed me and they were like, happy birthday, Sophie. So I'm going to give her a bath. I also need to put away my laundry. I just want everything to be like clean and just like put away. Um, and I have to pick them up in about two hours. So Honestly, we don't have that much time because two hours is not a lot of time. I feel like I get stuff done fast, but time just goes by way too quickly when I'm cleaning. And I'm just like, what the heck? I thought I did that fast. Not sure if this is going to be just like a day in my life or I'll do kind of like a half week in my life. I have an event that's really, really special. If you guys watched the last vlog, you would know, but... Um, that is actually this Thursday. So that's why I'm thinking maybe today we'll just do a day in my life and also... Today is the Bachelorette finale, like the official one, because <laughs> there was like a two-part thing. They split it up into like last Tuesday and this Tuesday. Usually it's like back-to-back -back Monday and Tuesday, so that's like so annoying. Anyways, it's actually the end of the show and we're going to find out what actually happens. They always say it's like the most dramatic season yet. Oh my god, I'm so sick of hearing that. So sick of it. Anyone else? It's so annoying because <laughs> I'm just like, okay, honestly... There's been worse things and there's been like crazier seasons. So I don't know. They just always say that. But I'm going to go put on a cute outfit, put on a cute workout set, and then get my butt up and start cleaning. I actually really want to get better at transitions on TikTok. So let's try it in today's vlog. Here we go. Okay, so we'll see how that worked. But here is the set of the day. I just got this in from Be Try It. I've actually never purchased anything from their site, they sent me over this set and it is actually so comfortable and like loungy. I don't know, I didn't really expect that. I almost expected it to be more like on the workout side, which obviously you can still work out in this. And this is the texture on it. It's kind of this like flower mod pattern. such a disorganized place ever since we moved here. The bottom half is such a big space and I didn't know what to do with it. So I got like these little shelf drawer things from Amazon and I'm gonna try to set it up today. everything laundry I did the little baskets in there I feel like so productive already um, but I'm gonna go pick him up I'm so excited to see him He's home. <laughs> what time did you have to wake up today 5 45. 
What do you want to drink? Okay. You know <laughs> yeah, and then a uh, grande iced white mocha half calf. And can I get um, that with oat, oat milk? And then can you sub the whipped cream for salted caramel cold brew or cold foam? <laughs> you still know my order. Twenty three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! How much you got? Ryan's been getting pumpkin stuff without me this whole time, but I didn't even get a pumpkin drink. I didn't even get a pumpkin drink. Got my iced white mocha. Who is this? Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> it's time to give the birthday girl a bath. <laughs> I kind of forgot to give her one before Ryan came, but that's okay. to unbox that's super freaking exciting because it's from Caraway. They sell the best pans, the most gorgeous pans, and what's in this box is super cool because, well, I guess I'll just show you. We have two little boxes. I did get different colors this time, actually. Ryan, where are you playing golf today? Morris Williams in New York. You excited? His golf buddy has been missing him. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Let's open this one first. I don't really even know what they look like. Oh. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Almost there. It's a freaking mini pan. This is actually perfect, especially for breakfast. You don't want to dirty up like a huge giant pan just for like eggs or something. It's a mini eggs. pan. Is that cute? It's a soapy pan. It's a soapy pan, yeah. <laughs> okay, there's another one. So I think this might be like a sauce one. And that's also perfect because every time I make like a little sauce dealio, I don't need a whole big pan, you know? All right. This is so cute. Let me show you guys like the actual or like the original size of the saucepan. So this is the original size. I have the Iconics collection with the gold handle and the white. And I'm pretty sure this actually came in that color, but I wanted to get the cream because I don't know. Can you guys tell the difference? I mean, barely. This is definitely just more warm toned, but yeah. So this is this. Oh, this is the size comparison. I don't know if you guys can tell because I, I feel like on camera it kind of <laughs> almost looks the same but there's there's a pretty big difference and then I'll show you guys the size comparison for the other pan. There's actually two of these pans. This one is the smaller one in like the full original bundle but this is the size comparison between those two. So I'm really excited about this and as always I have a code for you guys. Either I'll put it on the screen or link it down below. Thank you to Caraway for sending these over. I love them. Wait I just pulled this out. <laughs> It's a little mini pop lid. One thing about me, I love mini things. I follow this TikTok account that makes like mini things for a dollhouse. It is the coolest thing ever. I just saw a TikTok of this girl giving the best content creation hack ever and I have to show it to you guys. And I'm gonna walk you through it like she did. Um, okay, let me just look back at it. So basically it's for the people who like film content and you know, a whole like 13 minute video of you making your bed doesn't take 13 minutes so let's just say this but a whole 13 minute video of you making your bed or curling your hair will take up so much storage on your phone but 
if your hands are like busy and you don't want to like, you know, start and stop it with your hands, you can start and stop the video with your voice. So like, for example, start. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, I turn on video, ready? Start. Stop. Are you guys shook? Cause I am. Okay, let me teach you guys how to do it. Also, this is the creator. Her name is Michelle. Go to settings, go to accessibility, voice control. Make sure voice control is turned on over here. Then we're gonna go into customize commands. Then you press custom, and then this is where you can create a command. Okay, then you'll wanna do action, and then run custom gesture, and then you're gonna wanna tap wherever you think the um, button is to like start and stop the video. Save, and that's how you do it. I will say, ever since I turned on voice control, when I start typing, like, let's say I'm typing here, and it just starts, see, it's like starting to type what I'm saying, which is really freaking annoying, so I think I might just like, turn it on when I'm actually just filming the video because I cannot deal <laughs> with that. But I think that is like literally the best freaking hack ever. It's going to save me a lot of storage, but it is currently 4.47. I filmed a couple of TikToks for my personal and photography account. I'm really, really trying to, um, you know, just be better about promoing my photography online because I know so many people follow me through my Instagram and the other day or I think it was literally just yesterday I got a DM on Instagram saying that this girl um, found me on TikTok and I showed up on her for you page so it's working <laughs> um, but I'm going to bake an olive oil cake and in my last week in my life vlog I told you guys it's been on my bucket list for a very long time I feel like the Kardashians made it a thing, if I'm not wrong, like during quarantine it was a big thing. Um, and I've never eaten it in my life, so I have no idea what it tastes like. I just kind of want to make it, and Bachelorette finale is tonight, so it's an excuse to make it for my friends. Usually we just like bring our dinners or like not even really bring food, but since it is the finale, we are going to do like a little potluck, so I think somebody's bringing like a charcuterie board. I tried to get everyone to bring something like bachelorette related so we could get creative. So mine's like, I'll love you. You know, like all of you, like I love you. Close enough. roses the other day and honestly they weren't super fresh i wonder if i could have asked for a discount but i accidentally broke this rose and i kept it because i was like that'll actually be perfect to like create some rose petals on the counter so these are why are these so big these rose petals are giant one of my friends said she's gonna be here in like 10 minutes and the olive oil cake is going to be done soon as well. I really, really hope it turns out okay. It also is scary to make a cake because like you can't really cut into it and try it yourself because then it would like look weird. Um, one time I made my friend a birthday cake, which I still can't believe I made because that, it, I don't know, <laughs> it was so random. But I just had a feeling of like, I wanted to bake a cake. So I asked her if I could and it ended up being pretty good but i was terrified of it being like a shitty cake you know because people are gonna eat it <laughs> so i didn't tell people i made it for a while and then after they were like oh it's so good i was like yeah i made it i'm gonna do a quick rinse of all these little cups because i think someone's bringing a mocktail you 
these are my favorite. They're like ribbed. So freaking pretty. These are also really gorgeous. There's something definitely in there. Okay, hopefully this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> it doesn't smell very sweet, so it's kind of intriguing. Oh, so <laughs> I should have brought like a cup. I was kind of like wondering if I... I was so proud of you. Is it guys named Tony? Yeah. Tony? No. Oh, it's something oh. weird. <laughs> What a cheesy first impression. <laughs> I give you a piece of my heart. I can't do it. Crispy Harrison. I like you at chocolate today. <laughs> I get it. Quite on set. Men are pigs in a blanket. <laughs> I'll love you cake. Did I say cake? Oh, you really like it. Hey guys, it's September 21st. It's currently 8.52 and we're at Flitch Coffee. We've literally been dying. Ryan's been talking about this place since he's left. He's like, it's my favorite place. He cannot wait to go back. So I thought, what better place to do this on a coffee day than just go back this morning? So we got Sophie, I took her out, and she went and joined us. you are talking to her, Sophie, so she, Sophie That's what yourself. I meant. <laughs> um, so we got out this morning, I put my little bra on. <laughs> so no one can see my boobies. <laughs> and now they're gonna need treats. So yeah. Who's giving you treats? No one's giving you treats. Um what makes Flitch coffee so good? It's like whatever oat milk they use. Are I think you it's serious? the I think it's the barista version of Oatly. So maybe we can get that store here myself. Wait, really? Because okay, so I get the matcha and I've tried the chai, but it's like most of the time it's really watered down, so I don't know if I'll get anything, but I mean the matcha is good when it's not watered down. Like the first three sips are really good, but then they put so much ice and I asked for light ice last time, but you know when you say that, they probably just give you a look and they're like, you're high maintenance and then don't even do anything about it. Um, but that's where we are this morning. Thank you. What do you think? Good as you remember? <laughs> so I've always wanted to try this golden milk thing. I think that's what it's called, golden milk. Here we go. It tastes like, wait. Why does it taste like a sweet doll? It tastes like very Indian. It's a Not all lessy, but hold on. Yeah. Almost like a curry. Okay. It was a quick little beverage run. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm like that big of a fan of that golden milk drink, but I'm glad I tried it because I have been seeing it on like every menu. I'm not sure if it's like a big thing everywhere, but I swear in Austin, like I've seen it. <clears throat> on every coffee shop menu, but I'm gonna do some emails. I actually just got my first holiday campaign of the season Which makes me a little bit anxious because I'm like, oh, eh, like should I be reaching out to brands? Like should I wait for them? Like I just Like don't love when brands are so last minute, which 90% of the time that's how it happens like they would really email you two weeks before and then they're like okay, product's gonna get there tomorrow, gonna get the content the next day, and then you're like, what? <laughs> That's kind of nice that they reached out for a holiday partnership, but uh, now I'm just like, oh my God, the holidays are coming, like, what do I need to do? Like, kind of terrifying. I think this year I'll be able to be a little bit more like choosy with the ones I partner with or the brands I partner with, so that's really exciting. Um, and today I also have to go to the Domain, which is an outdoor shopping mall here in Austin. It's probably like one of our best malls. The one I go to like more often is Barton Creek, Bart, Barton Creek Mall, Bart, Barton Creek Square Mall. 
um, but I'm filming a brand deal with Majuri, so I'm super excited. I think they actually sent the jewelry over to my house. I might need to check if that actually is here yet because I think I have to have the jewelry before I go in store, but they want me to show just like shopping in store and apparently they do piercings there. And so they were going to give me a complimentary piercing, but I already have like three piercings done. And I'm just like, honestly, I don't really need another one, nor do I like want to go through like the aftercare of getting a piercing. So I'll just like not do that. Um, but let's see if it's delivered. Oh, okay. I guess it did deliver. Oh, yesterday. Perfect. Pulling up to the domain because I'm about to film a brand deal with Missouri. I don't have to film like too much and we don't have like that much time to be here. Um, but I just need to like film like a couple clips in store. I'm so excited about the pieces that I picked out. Um, I went to the package room and I forgot to bring like my key for the actual mailbox. It wasn't like in the Amazon locker. So I am going to go get it after we um, go home. But I think I'm going to try to go into Nordstrom too to pick up a birthday gift for someone. so sleepy but I actually had a few emails to reply to I don't know if I told you guys this but this morning I actually had a call with another management agency and we were talking about possible opportunities to work together um, the last management agency I interviewed with they were exclusive and so when this management agency replied or like even emailed me the first time I was like oh sorry like I'm not interested <laughs> like totally cut them off almost like in a nice way but i was just like mm, no i'm good on my own but then they were like well like we also have a non-exclusive opportunity and that means they only take 20 percent of the brand deals that they pitch for me or they bring to me and so i was like okay this could be something so we had a call today it actually went so good the girl just had the best vibes and that is so important i'm realizing this guys like i like based a lot off of my first impression with someone and she was just like so nice and friendly and bubbly and just all the best vibes so i don't know i'm gonna look into it more she sent over the contract so i'm gonna read that over um but that would also be like a really big help during the holidays too so i'm really considering it but i just got my fashion pass order i literally am so annoyed though their whole shipping thing is just like really annoying so basically when i was doing rent the runway it was before covid so i know they changed the whole packages and like everything is different um because you can't do unlimited with rent the runway but when you would ship a package back right when it was like scanned into fedex you were able to like pick out your new selects but with fashion pass it's not like that so you return it to fedex and then you wait like a couple of days until you can select your new pieces. I think Rent the Runway has like two day shipping, almost like Revolve and everything like that. So their shipping was so fast, but Fashion Pass, like you have to pay for expedited shipping or like one day shipping. So expedited, which is two to three days, I believe is like under $10. And then like one day pretty much overnight is like almost 30. And what's really annoying is <laughs> that I actually paid for early check-in this time and I didn't see it on my account. So I emailed their support and I was like, hey, last time I was able to, you know, pay to get that early check-in. Like, is there any way I can do that again? So they added it to my account. I was able to do early check-in. This was on Monday, I believe, and then I still had to pay the $30 to get it a day before my event. And I'm just like, mm, so annoying. So not only am I paying for the most expensive um, package that they offer, which I want to say it's like $139 a month, I'm also paying for early check-in and then also like expedited shipping every single time because it's not, it never gets here in time for like Thursday, Friday, Saturday events. Also the selection, literally my first week, I was like, okay, this stuff is cute, but like not anything like crazy mind blowing. Like, oh my God, I have to get this, this, and this. Like I was literally struggling to pick my four items because I felt like there wasn't enough. Or maybe it was like two like daytime wedding dress vibes. I don't really know. So 
I did get like a couple cute outfits out of it, but another issue is that, for example, if I got my package last Friday, I believe, so I was able to wear like a going out top one day, and then the next day I didn't go out, so like I didn't really have many reasons to like wear all the outfits during that weekend, but then also like on Sunday I wanted to send it back, so I couldn't even wear all the outfits during the week, and another thing is that with a fashion pass you have to send everything that you get back at once or else they'll charge your card because they think you're going to purchase that item because you kept it so overall like i definitely think it might be cheaper if you guys are like a shopaholic and always want a new outfit for like events and birthdays and all that kind of stuff especially if you have like one month of just like so much happening it is a great thing to do because you're not spending all that money on a new outfit every single time but I don't know if this is like really sustainable for me like I would rather buy those investment pieces almost so that's where I am with fashion pass I'm not sure if I'll renew and do the next month which reminds me I need to like remind myself to cancel it on time um, but maybe I'll do like a second month and then like next month is october and then yeah obviously november and december i'll be home anyways and i'll probably be in like comfy winter outfits so like i don't know if i'll really want to do fashion pass but it might be fun to do fashion pass during the winter because sweaters like i feel like it's great to buy investment pieces for sweaters too but there's always those like fun pattern sweaters that you want to wear and that you don't want to buy because you only wear it for like a short period of time and then like if you buy like a sweater that's like really nice quality with a really fun pattern you can't wear it that much because people will know and that's totally fine if you're an outfit repeater as you can see i still have mixed opinions but i'm still going to link my referral code in the description box in case you guys are interested in trying it out but you get what i mean okay we're gonna do a little try on because the event is tomorrow. It came up so, so soon and I think I'm gonna vlog that whole thing, the whole day separately. The pieces I picked from Fashion Pass this week are long floral pastel dresses. So let's try them on and we'll see what I end up going with tomorrow. Here's option one, we have a blue floral cutout dress. It has like a lot of cutouts and it's giving very much back. I don't know if I'll be able to wear like underwear because it's so low, but we have an option. It fits. <laughs> Here's the second dress. This one is Amanda Uprichard, which honestly, when I saw that it was from that brand, I was like, I have to try it on. I feel like every time I see a girl in a really flattering dress, it's majority of the time Amanda Uprichard. It is a bit long, but this is honestly kind of perfect because the product that we're showcasing at tomorrow's event is pink. Let's try on the last and final outfit. Also, if this is the one, I'm going to majorly steam it. Don't worry. Thank God I had options because this last one does not fit at all. I think I'm leaning towards the pink dress, but literally everyone on my Instagram poll is voting for the blue dress. I think the pink dress will look a lot better once it's steamed, but we were going to go take the paddleboard out because Ryan actually got an inflatable paddleboard like literally a month before he went home, but he left it with me in my car. It's just been chilling in my car and we were like, we should probably use it. But then it got time to go and I was like, that just sounds like a lot of effort, even though he would be doing a lot of the effort, <laughs> like pumping it up <laughs> and paddling and carrying it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we decided we'll just go on a little walk on Lady Bird Lake Trail because that's less effort, but it's still something to get us active. Because I feel like I've been staring at my phone for the past few hours. I've just been like making TikToks and stuff like that. Um, but I'm in my phase where I really like it again. Um, so that's great. If you guys want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, it's so underscore gnarly without the G and definitely follow because I'm going to try to edit and upload this tomorrow on me uh, on my event day and yeah I'm going to post like a lot of stuff from the event on my Instagram story so definitely go check it out here's the fit this hat is from Gorin Brothers I got it on South Congress it's their farm collection and I've actually been seeing a lot of people wear these kind of hats. There's a lot of other animals and they're just like cool trucker hats. I love a good trucker hat. Then my sports bra is from Set Active and my shorts are also from Set Active. I'm very excited for this coming Black Friday because I always get like a ton of things from Set Active and they have honestly been killing it 
they used to only have like workout sets like this but now they have like sweat sets and all this kind of stuff and we're going to new york in like the end of the year and ryan was like it's gonna be freezing and i was like really <laughs> I don't know why I never think it's like cold or I never think it's hot because these New York influencers they wear like whatever they want and even if it's cold like they'll wear like mini skirts and mini dresses and a coat is nowhere to be found in their Instagram stories so I'm like how do these girls do it like it never looks cold so I don't know shall be interesting but I'm also very lucky because I feel like nowadays the athleisure look is a lot more trendy and just like normalized like wearing sneakers and sweat sets and just like trench coats so i feel like we're gonna go for like a cool comfy vibe which was gonna be nice because then i don't have to like try too hard i mean obviously i'm gonna style some outfits but I'm very excited for that Spoiled Sophie. She spoiled, she was fine. No, she wasn't. <laughs> We're done with our walk. Why is this bunk? Uh, yeah. We're gonna get some juices and then split the Chipotle bowl. Chocolate waves, you saw. Is it good? Pretty good. And I got the Pleasant Valley. That's really refreshing. Very watermelon y. I try yours. It's like a frosty but protein y. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's good. good.